it ain't happening on Zoom. Well, I mean, it's a perfect bridge into another thing we wanted to discuss, which was kind of the community aspect too, right? And I've got a question for you when we start looking at this from a perspective of there's the biome relationships, right? Like, okay, like, yes, like swapping skin biome, swapping, uh, you know, even the air biome and, and just all these different biome swaps that come with like close proximity to community, but without getting too far into like even a quantum side, but there's, you know, do we still develop this connection that could be important for our parasympathetic tone through devices, if at all? Great question. I am a, I have lots of opinions on this and a little bit of science. Um, there is of course, massive benefit to the, to the internet and the, like the world's information at your fingertips. You can learn anything. We can perplexity. We can, it's just, it's just crazy for those of us who love information. Right. But it does come with the downside and you know, there's many people who study this a lot better than I and the social network was a great net. It's a great documentary on this, et cetera, et cetera. But the. One of the most interesting pieces of research that came out about this um, was actually done during COVID when we all, to an extent, became device heavy and human light, yeah. right? And it basically was doing uh, what's called hyperscanning, okay? Um, where and hyperscanning is a, a neuroimaging term for scanning multiple people at the same time in in the same kind of uh, experiment to see how the synchrony between their brains works. Okay? okay. And the bottom line is that they had people interact as a dyad, you know, all wired up. I'm, I think they've done it both with FNIRs as well as with EEG. And uh, they had them have a conversation face to face in real life. And they had them have, do that over Zoom. And then they, yeah. they cross balanced it and they did all the appropriate science. And basically the bottom line is that there are so much more brain network activity individually that happens when there is the face-to-face -face interaction. And the degree of similarity that happens as a person kind of talks to another person, um, the neural entrainment